The story of de Reuter vegetable seeds begins with our Dutch heritage. The Netherlands has proved to be the perfect canvas for innovative minds in seed science since the 1500s. These pioneers knew seed could grow more than a vegetable. Seed could create a masterpiece. Wouter Peter Johannes de Reuter was the founder of not only a company, but also of a tradition of being at the forefront of innovation. Like our founder, all professionals at De Reuter are passionate about using science to achieve better varieties, bringing advanced features in taste, production, and resistances to pests and diseases. That philosophy is what started our company, and after nearly 75 years of our history, it's just as true today. It's 1945 as Wouter De Reuter lays the foundations of De Reuter, then called WPJ De Reuter Seed Trade. In 1963, De Reuter introduces the very first rootstock for tomato varieties, a rootstock resistant to corky root and nematodes. The improved resistance to cold makes it possible to cultivate these varieties earlier in unheated greenhouses. It's 1970 when De Reuter introduces a groundbreaking solution for cucumber growers to the dreaded spot virus. Sporu, the cucumber variety totally immune to the disease. Soon after, the company introduces a tomato solution, Sonato, a tomato variety resistant to the tobacco mosaic virus, internationally acclaimed as a major horticultural breakthrough. In 1980, De Reuter expands its range of products with peppers and eggplants. The company also starts a special program this year for selecting, breeding, and producing. In 1982, De Reuter opens a new facility in Berschenhoek, a complex of 36,000 square meters for the production of tomato and cucumber hybrid seeds. In 1996, De Reuter is one of the first companies to apply the improved Japanese grafting technique, resulting in the best combination between rootstock and scion. As a tribute to its strength and innovative power, the TMKN VF2FR rootstock is named Beaufort. In the year 2000, De Reuter introduces Maxifort, a rootstock which grows 20% more vigorously than the Beaufort, especially for substrate-based cultivation. De Reuter rightfully acquires a reputation of being the absolute best in rootstocks. 2002, De Reuter starts applying innovative seed priming technology to accomplish increased speed of germination, as well as more consistent germination for vegetable seeds and rootstock. It's 2005 when De Reuter keeps pushing the boundaries as it introduces protective coatings for rootstock and vegetable seeds. In 2008, De Reuter Seeds becomes part of Monsanto, strengthening both companies in research and development for breeding excellent vegetables. ISG Group, Piotech, Western Seeds and Poloni also becomes part of Monsanto. From 2009, De Reuter focuses only on tomatoes, pepper, cucumber, eggplants and rootstocks as protected culture vegetable products in order to better deliver crop-specific expertise. In 2012, De Reuter introduces Merlis, the successor of Kamit. Kamit was the first tomato to break the record of 100 kilos a year. Merlis outperforms Kamit with an even higher production. 2013, a new innovative breakthrough from De Reuter, rootstock DRO141TX that gives a genuine turbo boost to production, crop strength, endurance, and resistances. 2018, the acquisition of Monsanto by Bayer is finalized. Two leading innovators become one to shape the future of agriculture through breakthrough innovation for the benefit of farmers, consumers, and our planet. Today, De Reuter is proud to be a visionary on market needs and is driven by innovating with and for our growers. We focus on crop optimization by applying both passion and in-depth knowledge. That is what growers expect from De Reuter, and that is what we make happen. What does it take to grow a De Reuter seed? Focus, attention to detail, collaboration, and trust. Because when we're fully committed to our growers, 
something extraordinary happens. Their success starts to feel like ours, and we share in the pride of carefully crafted vegetables delivered to market. Breeding the best products is one thing, but breeding close relationships in our day-to-day -day customer interactions are equally important. Which is why we are so happy and proud to invite you to the new De Reuter Experience Center, to meet you in person, to visit the center together, and to answer your questions. Now, welcome to the new state-of-the-art De Reuter Experience Center.